What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Jordan here, and in today's video, man, I'm gonna be showing you how to quick punch the easiest way possible in Pro Tools first. So, what we're gonna do, bro, I'm gonna duplicate, I'm gonna make a new track because I need a new track in so we can quick punch. So, when you quick punch, you wanna have a track, right? So, this is gonna be my record track, and then this is what we're gonna drag our vocal to. So, I'm gonna color this one differently. So, that's the one the vocal's going to. And let's get let's get right. So in Pro Tools first, this is what I want to do. You want to go to the record button. Do you want to right click the button and you want to go to Quick Punch? All right. This is very important here. When you look in Pro Tools first, you'll see these two options right here on the screen. What my mouse is. All right. You don't want to have the transient to be on, and you don't want this to be on. So you want to turn those off. Okay. You want to make sure you turn those off. So, because if it's on, I'm going to show you what it does when it's on. So, if we're trying to quick punch record, this is what we'll get. So, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I can't go back and record. I'm just recording right here from my transient. You see? You do that, it's not going to work right. So, you get left with that right there, having to go back and forth, right? So, that's the wrong way. All right, so this is the correct way. So you come back over, and you want to record like this. Yeah, 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 So, so there we go. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Shooter. Hey, 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 hey. Big money, big drill. Hey, hey. hey. So it's back. You know. Hey, 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 hey. Shooter, 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 shooter. Yeah. Money, big drill. Hey, hey. hey. Alright, cause the thing you wanna know about quick punching, whatever this arrow is. Like wherever this arrow is, that's where you're gonna record from. So if you got it right here, it's gonna run from here. So if you got it here, it's gonna run from here. If you got it from here, wherever you click, it's gonna run. So your best bet is to put it in slip mode so you can click wherever. So if we wanna run it from here, it's gonna always come back there. Right, it's gonna always go back to the red arrow. That's the that's the most important thing when it comes to quick punching. You want to make sure you have your settings right because if your settings not right, you're not gonna be able to quick punch. All right, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. The next video that's coming in the Pro Tools first series will be a video on how to mix vocals. So be on the lookout for that one. But I just want to show you how to record using quick punch like you do in Pro Tools. It's, it's a little different because it comes up like this automatically and it throws a lot of people off and I don't want you to make that mistake 